A lot of questions that uh, people have asked me is like, um, they asked me, it seems that the way that you use sounds are so incredibly important to you, and where do these sounds come from? Um, and so, yeah, where do these sounds come from? Um, sometimes I record uh, unique musicians, and then I do unique sound design on them, uh, and I use these samples. Um, a really good example is um, um, 300 Rise of an Empire, where there are all these flourish of, flourishes of um, um, really uh, old woodwind instruments. And um, I use this wonderful player, uh, Pedro Ustache, um, who is a, an amazing woodwind player. And the way that he plays the duduk is like incredible. And um, so I used that original recording and did sound design on them. I did samples of them and you create this really, uh, really amazing atmosphere. And if you want to know a little bit more how I sample sounds, I would definitely look at one of my uh, other tutorials in studio time, how I treat samples and how I use them for sound design and things like that. So you will see a little bit more about that. Um, the other thing that I do is make my own instruments. Um, Sometimes it's very simple. You just um, have a piece of wood with a string over it and with a pickup and you just try something different. You record something with a microphone. I've recorded um, recently the washing machine actually in the kitchen and then I, um, I recorded it in and I sped all these recordings down uh, to very slow and there was all that weird rumble and weird sounds that came out of it that was great for what I needed at that point. Uh, for 300 Rise of an Empire, I took the waves of the water, which seemed to have a really great rhythm, and I did cross-convolving that with bass sounds and with rhythms. So now we got rhythms and bass sounds that are in the same tempo and same performance as the waves are rolling throughout the film. So it created a really nice interaction between music and the sound design that was already in the film. Um, in other scenarios, I make really complicated instruments. I've been taking a piano, um, completely hacked it apart, put it back in a new case and used guitar pickups and bass pickups to play it. It's called the piano from hell. If you Google the making of the, uh, the movie 300 Rise of an Empire, you see that piano and it's, a, it's an amazing instrument. So I also make instruments electronically, um, not necessarily always myself, some of these modules behind me are customly made. We go back and forth between the developer and myself to see if it's really what I want. And the same goes for software. There's some software uh, that we, uh, companies that we work with that do unique things for us, for us that are really, that I'm really looking for. And that's how you create like really unique sounds that I use in, uh, in my film scores. I'm always looking for something that is like slightly different that is what is already out there. Usually I'm able to do it myself with plugins or with these machines, but every so now and then, um, you have somebody who developed something really uniquely uh, for you. Uh, there's one person I would like to uh, give a shout out to, which is uh, Chaz Smith. Um, he's a musician, a great steel guitar player, but actually he's a welder. So he makes these really insane metal objects and he plays them. He, he uses a bow, he hits them, and they're so heavy they're hanging in his house. Uh, but the sound that comes out of it is ridiculous. And so we've used them on Man of Steel. Actually, Hans found the guy. Um, and this guy is incredible, like the sounds that he made. And we use it a lot in, 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 uh, in uh, Man of Steel. And I've used him on uh, uh, Black Mass too. Uh, so he, he's, a, he's a great artist with a, a, you know, a lot of attitude in his, in his sounds. And he gives me something that I could possibly never get out of a out of a plugin or out of a synthesizer. So that's how sounds are important to me. So I hope that answers that question.